people welcome once again to this channel and in this video we'll quickly be looking at um, setting up a very awesome indicator which is called the tdi the traders dynamic index tdi now i'm going to quickly show you how to set up the tdi on your mobile phone precisely on your Android device this video is for the Android device I'm also going to do a video on the iPhone device and then afterwards I'm going to show you how to use this awesome indicator the TDI how to use it to take sniper entries on trade to buy and sell and make good profit quickly now remember if you haven't subscribed to this channel kindly do that just hit on the subscribe icon you can see and um, if you also want to get notified when i release more videos hit on the bell icon so you get notified when i release more videos so let's quickly run through let's quickly get into the main discussion of today so the first thing you should do when you want to set up your tdi just go to any of the currency pair or any of the metal in the, in the metal or whatever you're trading just go to your charts you can see here i have the great britain pounds against the us dollar so once you're on there you want to start inserting the various indicators that make up the traders dynamic index so first of all you click on the f the f icon you can see above on the screen click on the f and then you scroll all the way down to where you have the rsi which is the relative strength index here that is the first indicator we'll add so click on the relative strength index now we have to set it up set it up for period you make sure it's on 13 by default it will be on it will be at 14 so change it to 13 and then you apply to close if yours is not in close make sure it's on the close and then the style the color of your of the of the rsi make sure make it the color of the background the background color so if your chart background is white you want to choose your style your color to white if the background is black you want to choose black so in this case my background is white so i'm going to be choosing white so great so you leave the level you can leave the level as is 30 and 70. so remember we talked about rsi separately in one of my videos on my channel if you haven't seen that video you can quickly run and check that out how to use the rsi alone to make profits so we'll leave it at 30 and 70 and then we're done with rsi we click done and then boom you can see you can see the RSI indicator here. If you notice, you can't see those lines. You just have your 70 level, the overbought level, and the 30 level, the oversold level. So if you notice, you can't see, you won't see the lines. You won't see the, the RSI line itself. Why? Why? Because we chose the color of the RSI to our background, to our color background, which here mine is white, so that's why we chose white. So moving on now we have to set up the the moving averages in the rsi column which also make up the make up the the tdi so we're going to click on the f icon above and where we have the indicator window one which is where we have the rsi we want, we want to add all the other moving averages so we're going to click on the f plus sign where we have we indicator window one that is where we want to add our moving averages not on the main chart so you click on that and you're going to go to you see your moving average so we are adding a total of three moving averages so we're going to start with the first moving average now let's set up this first moving average together the period you want to set your period to two by default you might have 200 depends on what you have set it to two and then for the for the shift you leave it as is leave it as zero leave it as zero for your for the method you leave it as simple if yours is an exponential make sure it's on simple simple now for the apply to apply to the apply to the previous indicator data here apply to the previous indicator previous indicator data and then for your color now change the color this color to green change it to green so we have the first moving average which is the two two moving average two shift zero the method is simple apply to previous indicator 
data and make sure the color is green so once you're done with that you you click on done so we have that you can see it here that this is the first the first moving average you just set under the rsi so the next moving average you'll be setting is the seven the seven moving average now in, in the course of my video this, this series i'm still going to talk about setting uh, how to use moving averages separately but remember our main discussion here is based is just on how to set up the tdi so let's go on and sell and set up the next moving average under the t under the rsi so we're going to click on the f icon and then the same way we set up the last one the last moving average click on the f plus sign that is just by the indicator window one which is under the uh, which is just above the relative strength index because we want to put the moving average inside the relative strength index so click on that f1 and then you go to your moving average and hit the moving average now the next moving average you're setting is the period seven so change your period to seven change seven your shift leave it as zero and your method leave it that simple and then you you apply to also the previous data indicator data and then you change the color to color red so great so we have the next moving average set which you can see here which is this red one here so we've set up this the second moving average so on to the next moving average which is the third and the last moving average the same thing click on your f icon click on the f plus sign just after the indi ind indicator window one because we want to set it inside the rsi so click on that go to you click on your moving average and then the the period for this last moving average is 34 34 leave the shift as zero and then change the method if yours is an exponential change it to simple and then you want to click hit on the apply to now this one should be at the first indicators data unlike the others that have been the previous indicator data put it at your first indicator data and then you might want to change the color change the color to yellow great this yellow changes to this yellow whatever yellow you want so we have this yellow and then we are done so now we have the various moving averages in the next video where i'm going to explain how to use the tdi videos the tdi indicator i'm going to explain to you what each and every one of these moving averages tell you that is happening in the market so so quickly without wasting much time let's um, go on to the last thing we need for to set up to complete the tdi which is a bollinger band it's a bollinger band so i'm going to show you how to add it we still want to add it here because this will then be our tdi so how do you add it, the bollinger band here so same thing you hit the f icon and then under the indicator window plus uh, one you hit on you hit the f plus sign just beside it and then you move to you see the you see the bollinger band which is the second here so you hit on the bollinger bands and then the period you change the period from 20 to you won't change it to to 34 so you change your bollinger band to 34 and then the deviation change your deviation to 1.618 change it to 1.618 leave your shift at zero and then you apply to the first indicator data and then you change the color to blue Let's change your color to blue and boom we are done so great here we have a tdi we have our TDI indicator so I'm going to tell you how to how to use the TDI indicator very soon we will tell you how to use the TDI indicator so um, for now that's it we now have our TDI indicator set so uh, make sure you stay tuned if you've not subscribed to this channel kindly do that and um, 
we'll definitely go through the use of this how to use this indicator to to make some good profit remember to hit the icon of um, where you get notified when i release more videos so you see that particular video so thank you for staying tuned to take care bye